Hello everyone! In this video we are going to have a lot of different stories and a lot of different news stories. Keep a critical mind as always. I will always try to put all the evidence and proof out there. If there isn't enough then also you can search for yourself but I will try to keep all those things out there for you guys and as always keep a critical mind and I hope you enjoy. 3SKM is a Nidhi Sanji group of three male uh, I believe they're singers or at least three male VTubers. Uh, it has been decided recently that they are going to be having their uh, new costumes for Kitami Yusei, Kaisei, and Sakaki Ness. They'll be unveiled Saturday, uh, 1900, Sakaki Ness, 7 p.m., 7.30, Kaisei. And from 8, Kitami Yusei will be broadcasting on each of their channels. Please try to imagine what the costumes will be like. And here we have an intro. I am good, not going to actually show the music itself because a lot of times the songs are actually copywritten. So I will uh, make sure to at least talk to you through all of this stuff happening here. Uh, we have, you know, they're all, they're, they're, they're doing eye reveals, which is interesting. It's an interesting to show the eye reveal. Uh, it's, it's, it's new to me, at least. So yeah, this is their, uh, <laughs> why the heck did they show their shoes? I don't know why the heck they showed their shoes. But uh, yeah, <clears throat> that's their full on uh, schedule. People are excited. People are really like, it's okay. Nice edit too. I do like the edits. I do like the edits that they did. I'm just gonna be honest, it was a creative edit. Let's take a look at 3SKM, their actual uh, Twitter here. And um, it's basically just like a group here. Uh, recently, other news that they've had, they said, next session will be on Thursday, September 12th at 9 p.m. due to some circumstances. Let's have fun half anniversary together. It's a commemorative photo. They're gonna have something together for the sixth event. They're gonna have their events going on as well. And it is good that they are at least for groups like 3SKM. They seem to be doing some advertising at the very least on Twitter, which is better than what a lot of EN people are having, unfortunately. But at least they're doing something to help their talents get recognized. At least the bare minimum, at least, is what they're doing. We have Doki news for you guys today, which is this is her schedule. And one interesting thing for Friday is lockdown protocol with Laimu, Matara, Bao, Shy Lily, Snuffy, Amelie, and Juniper. A lot of big names. Why? Because she's a big name in her herself. And I, I love seeing that she is spreading her wings, so to speak, being out there and actually, you know, doing things to show that she is marketable. It's probably her management team that's been pushing her to do a lot of these things, because remember before she said that she's very shy. Uh, she doesn't like bothering people. She feels like she would be a bother if she reaches out to people. I'm pretty sure her management team is like, look, let's let's talk to them. If they say no, then they say no. But let's go and ask. Let's at least ask. And a lot of them, in fact, most of them, when they ask, they're like, yeah, of course, we'd love to do this. And that's why Doki Bird is having so much fun now, which is great to see. I love seeing it after what happened in February. I'm glad that that is way behind us and that she has gotten so much positivity as of late. And let's see what the responses of some of the people down here are. Can't believe it's a collab where I'm a massive fan of everyone in it. I feel the exact same way. Pre preemptive, okay, ban bow. Honestly, really happy to see Lime's fight really branching out. Of all the S, Doki got the whole squad of popular VTubers. Go Dragoons and Shambles right now. Um, boy will have to dress up as a monkey to get some parental love. Street Fighter 6, seems like the Blunt Rotation Team Brawl Pro is back in business, boys. Vini next. Like, a lot of people are just happy that she's doing well. Wow, I can't believe it'll be the second time Mata and Doki interact for real, for real. Technically, it'll be the first, I think. I believe Mint was a middleman during the WrestleTuber, and Mata just sent her some recordings. Uh, all my favorite VTubers, Bao and one plus, plus Bao. <laughs> so, <laughs> they're saying here, VTubers and Bao too. Um, you weren't kidding, this is stacked collab. So yeah, a lot of fun collabs for them. A lot of fun times. Uh, I'm very glad, like I said before, that Doki is having this collab with everyone that she maybe has wanted to collab with for a while but now that she's bigger she actually has open doors because she also has the goodwill of the vtuber community for those who don't know base connect went to anime nyc and they did a large concert with uh mint and you know other other girls they had a nice concert they had mint as the only guest a special guest for their concert anime nyc it did very well it was from the Guerrilla stream after anime NYC performance Face Connect had. So proud of these girls and all they do. I hope she's proud of what she has accomplished as well. Tam is such a gem. Really enjoyed the concert. Face has done small sets of 3D singing previously at other cons. This is the first time we got a big budget full concert. Uruka was a real good singer and opening host. Tema's rapping was cute. Pippa did her Ano, ano Humanity Yeshu ritual with PTR. Would have loved to sing Breakthrough maybe another time. Leo was also really good at singing. Finally got to show off her idol dancing, which was cute. Finally had Mint, who has usually brought 110% super idol energy to the event. 
Big thanks to her for attending. It was also cute to see the girls gushing over Twitter on Twitter afterwards. They really put a lot of hard work into these things. And that's the thing. All the people, everybody, whether it be from Nidhi Sanji or other organizations like right now, if we're talking about Face Connect, they put their heart and soul out into these things. Um, so that's why I always say support the VTuber, not the agency necessarily, but the VTuber. FU is a show opener, uh, absolutely slapped. Uruka knocked it out of the park. What's the, the 10 Riggins? Probably meant to say Gen 1 Origins and Face Connect, but spacing makes it hard to see. So let's see what it actually says. It says, hi, this is Tenma. I would like to say thank you to SPWN and Anime NYC for this chance. But most importantly to you, how it, is it possible to make an idol out of an alcoholic? How is it possible to hear such cheering and love from you? This means a lot to me. Gen 1 Origins and Phase Connect. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you. I love you. And yeah, our, our Canadian fox, right down there, the Canadian cat, fox, dog, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> the far right, that uh, Tenma. You have Leah's on the right. Well, Uruk and Pippa, all, you know, celebrating Mint being there. Uh, that is all just great. It's great to see an agency like Face Connect also get successes and not just the large agencies have successes, big and small. Always, always great to see. Ex Nidhi Sanji Liver, Yuki Chihiro now, Aoi Sakura. And of course, always consider them as Aoi Sakura from now on. Um, I just say Yuki Chihiro for maybe there are some fans who did not know where she went. And now you get to know where she went. She's no longer a part of the big organization. That's why I am mentioning both at once. I, tr I try not to do that for anybody who's currently part of a large corporation because it's just out of respect. But Aoi Sakura is announcing her 3D debut. She's having her 3D a lot of times before maybe, you know, they had a lot of people are having it in uh, Nidhi Sanji. At least Nidhi Sanji Yen is having a slow debut. They had slow debuts with that. So it says, thank you for watching the stream. As previously announced, the 3D unveiling will be streamed on September 1st, Sunday from 9 p.m. The day after the fan meeting. So she's having a fan meeting the day before that, uh, August 31st, I believe. I think August is another day that has 31 days, I believe. Yes, it does. Okay. So August 31st is going to have fan meet and then September 1st is going to be her 3D and it is going to be at 2100 JST. So 9 p.m. JST and Japanese Standard Time. And then, uh, you know, adjust based on that. For me, it's going to be like in the early morning, I think. I think uh, they're around 15 hours ahead of me. So for Western Standard Time, Pacific Daylight Time, I think it's 15 hours ahead of me. Uh, people, are, of course, are very excited for what's happening right here. You get some congratulations, Sakura, on your 3D. Looking forward to it. A lot of people, a lot of Japanese fans, because that's where she mainly has her fans, are very happy that she's having this. And she deserves this kind of love. She deserves this kind of appreciation. I'm glad she's getting it in her indie life. The the choices that she's made to be in indie is a hard one, but it is doing well for her because she knows how to market herself. And I'm very happy that she's able to get this benefit. Globy is having a graduation. Who's graduating? Obari Luca. Obari Luca was part of their first generation. Alan Kamanui Miel, Miel, I guess. Tearing who? Reina Rondonreina, Ron, 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 Sarugako Leon, and Pippa Pebblesworth, and Ibuki Bjorn. Uh, they are graduating soon, and this is the announcement that's being made. August 31st is their graduation. I have it a little bit bigger for you guys, a little less meh for you guys, easier for you guys to see. Here we go. August 26, 2024. Dear Stingies and Globy supporters, we are truly saddened to announce the graduation of Obari Luca from Globy. He will cease the activities after 31st of August 2024. The decision has been reached jointly between Luca and the management team. He will always be remembered as a wonderful genmate, a great senpai, and a friend to everyone in Globy. Both talents and management will miss him dearly, and we will wish him the utmost success in all future endeavors. Luca has been on hiatus recently and unable to stream due to personal reasons, and at this juncture, he has chosen to step away from the Globy project. He will perform his final graduation stream on the 31st of August. Please be sure to watch and wish him well. Of course, as per Globy policy, Luca's YouTube channel will remain open so that the audience can have access to all of his VODs. However, options such as monetization, memberships, super chats will be disabled. His Streamlabs and Throne accounts will be deactivated. We sincerely apologize for any sadness this announcement has caused and will cause. So this was a, a, a basically a shot across the bow that was heard around the world. Um, Rima even responded, she's like, I wanted to collab with Luca again because he was such a blast to be around and made everyone feel so welcome and comfortable when we play together. Oh, it's Luca Kohaku from Globy says, Luca's always been a ridiculously supportive and kind. You guys were able to see some of it in streams and on Twitter, but even behind the scenes, 
he was always going out of his way to be sweet and checking up on us. I'll always remember the kindness Luca showed us when we first debuted. Please take care of yourself. Big love. We're having here V4 Mirai. Sending all the best to you, Luca. You've been the perfect younger brother to torment, and don't worry, I will continue to bully you in the afterlife. Keep going strong and your head and hold your head high. You're an extraordinary creator and an unbelievably genuinely kind than down-to-earth soul. I know the path for your future may be a rocky one, but trust me when I say there will be light at the end of the tunnel. You have my endless support. So they're getting tons of support out here. From Pippa Pebblesworth, Luca, I don't want this to be real. Uh, another Globy one, all the best to you, Senpai. Vance Van Creed, another Globy, all the best to Senpai. Such a fun guy, I miss laughing at our dumb arguments. Weezy said the same, you know, Luca the best. Uh, other people down here, Twisted Washu, Tama VR, everybody wishing, wishing him the best because it is always painful to lose an Oshi. It is always painful to have someone gone that uh, you enjoyed a lot of. And this is going to be a sad moment for you all who maybe enjoy him and enjoyed his streams and enjoy Globy overall. But of course, this is all a personal thing that they want to go through, the personal thing that they decided on because of, of reasons that we're not going to be privy to because unless they say it, we're not going to know about it. But otherwise, I do wish them the best. Let's see what these people say down here. Well, Luca, I hadn't watched him in a while. Sure, you're going to miss him. Leaves Sarugako Leon Jr. as the only male member of Globy's first generation, by the way. In any case, I wish Obaru Luca, Obari Luca, the best on his future endeavors. Bray's policy of accelerating as many chubas as possible across the branches is netting the expected results. Of course, it may not be because of this. It may be because of this. We don't know 100%. But one thing I can say is being a VTuber myself, being in the grind myself with 14 videos a week and 10 streams a week, uh, sometimes multiple streams a day and sometimes more than two videos a day, the grind can wear you down. The grind can make it so that you don't want to do this anymore. If it, if the fun is no longer there, even if it is your job, quote unquote, to be a streamer, if the fun is no longer there, then that is the moment when you should stop. And it could be that the fun is no longer there, or it could be there's some serious stuff behind the scenes that we have no clue about. But, you know, just giving you guys a little bit of an idea on my end. We have Mika Neko. We all know who she is. This is right here. She used to be Rusia from Hollow Life. We all know the things that have gone on with her. She has had uh, a lot of Menhera moments. She's had a lot of uh, psychological and mental health issues. Uh, like, mental health issues are serious business. So that's why I try not to harp on that stuff. But she recently held a fan gathering in Hong Kong. Had a great time, was happy to meet everyone and felt a lot. Thank you, love you, follow you from now on, I promise. Here are some of the things that she did through there. Uh, she had um, some good moments out here, some good moments. Uh, people having, and she signed a lot of these things. So she signed a lot of her stuff. A lot of her cards and such like that, people were able to get them signed. People are showing it there. It was at the uh, Data Technology Hub, apparently. It was 880 Hong Kong dollars. Uh, for the full VIP treatment and 380 Hong Kong dollars for just a regular meetup. And what did the meetup entail? It says impressions after watching Miki Neko's fan meeting in Hong Kong after uh, visiting it. P zone, Q zone, and R zone. So it was big. It wasn't a small fan meetup. It was big. Recent years, VTuber world has been a hot topic with Japanese Miki Neko. Today, uh, 24th in the afternoon of August 24th, uh, located in Hong Kong, side of Japan, uh, where a fan meeting was held. The far-flung military center, military operations, the military district. Sky is hot and the people who enter the city are starting to sell goods. So this was the main thing. that She had some, uh, you know, actual part where she could talk to people or she was seeing people there. Inside the venue, there's a huge curtain of fireworks in the city. The past broadcast of Mika Neko is a personal milestone. There are a few fans who live in it. And there are also those who become active retired VTubers under the banner of a certain big VTuber agency in Japan. So he's talking about the things that happened in the past. The official goods, really nice official goods here. Uh, you can see that the acrylic, uh, really cute acrylic. Uh, actually, the prices aren't bad. Hong Kong, 300 bucks. Hong Kong, 100. Hong Kong, 70. Hong Kong, 80. That's actually not that bad. The quality looks good, which is, is good. They're on display there. The quality looks pretty good. And again, you have these samples here for quality purposes, samples for quality purposes, so you can get your shirts. VIP ticket is 880 Hong Kong dollars. Regular ticket is 380. Two types. As for the inspection income, uh, number of people who buy VIP tickets, tickets, too many regular tickets, VIP tickets, like basically, they're trying to control how many people are in there. Um, Mika and Echo, one story on the network for 60 seconds. There are nine men who are close to the truth. I had, some of these things are badly translated, but still, let's take a look at the things here. You get 60 seconds with Mika and Echo. That's what I'm guessing it is. The meet and greet is 60 seconds with Mika and Echo. That's my guess is what it is, um, which isn't bad overall. Like freaking Nidhi Sandhu does the same thing. Uh, 
basically they're divided into four parts the first part is to see the inside of the field second part is to the, get the cotton sugar version third part is seen as the inside of the field basically different parts of here you have the, the another standee there like an actual large you know printed out standee uh, after receiving your impressions and sightseeing you can summarize the following points here's the p-zone and all that stuff it starts it opens at 1500 starts and goods at 1330 um 100 people entered the venue this time a large number in history of Mika neko so she had she had good stuff she had a good good uh part uh she had you know mangas she had other things uh the full story about Mika neko we all already know uh but all these things were here again more she's reading marshmallows live as well to people in order to save the individual situation, we will give you a review of the current situation. Uh, special features Mickey Neko, the first place to visit and question center, which is the, the, the meet and greet. Original number of people from Hong Kong has been removed, so how many people have come to Macau? And the number of people who have come to Japan is very special. Um, mood of the enemy, that's very weird as well. The mood was as clear, the order of Mickey Neko is clear, the continuation of Milestone is smooth. So people had a good time. Say what you want to say about Mickey Neko. It looks like people were having a good time which is what is important again people here with dolls as well you can see down here someone brought their doll and took a picture of it um you have the booth now on sale uh you know certain things on sale here you have her uh kind of i guess replays of certain parts of mika neko's history there uh during the story of the hero when the world void problem occurred the hong kong fans felt that mika neko was very tense and had a good impression hong kong fans meeting immediately screamed aloud and the story of the small talk was immediately available pickup continued so basically she started small talking with people people were very happy I'm trying to translate the translation here for you guys people were very happy uh the hong kong meeting was great the whole place was applauded the 30th award praise the second half of the show was good so it was positive a lot of things here that she popped out here uh to relearning the middle stage of the game but the game was always in sight the atmosphere is very good again repeating uh and was the only woman who won the first place in the lottery uh just trying to again uh translate the translation for you guys the next uh, ranked cosplayer also ranked Sparrow Dance. Mika Neko also won't stop. Basically, they had a cosplay competition too. Uh, people cosplaying as Mika Neko. No matter what, this is an amazing part of being a VTuber. No matter what, no matter what you have to say about Mika Neko, it's great that she actually had positive things with her fans. Positive things with her fan base. And people seemed very happy overall. A few VIP fans were, were gone. Mentioned one by one and new fans were replaced. Uh, doll exchange and Mika Neko was added after she completed the show. She also visited many places in person because she was there in person. Did not get a look, good look at the Mika Neko stuff. Here you go. Um, this is after the stuff happened. Uh, and they took pictures of when it was still there. So it was full. It was a full house. But addition to participation, also the number of people who attended the meeting and how the participants were able to achieve their goals. Talking, having a good personal private talk. It looks like a good group talk with Mika Neko and having fun with her. I'm glad that she still has that. It's still ongoing. It's, it, I mean, it, by now it's done, but it was still ongoing as if this was when this person wrote it. And I will repeat again, as I've repeated many times, she's had her faults. She is human. I still, you know, hold her responsible for the faults that she's had in the past, as of course is normal, but people could change. And she is showing that she's trying to do positive things for her community, which is what she wants. This is what I want because the community deserves that. And she deserves positivity as well as just, again, another human being. Another bit of indie news and a bit of made news, made mint news right here. Uh, just like I mentioned a while back of Ame doing what, well, looking for 3D modelers, Made Mint is looking for 3D modelers as well. And I will give her the same treatment I did for Amit, which is saying, yes, she's in search of a 3D modeler who will be open starting mid to late to September. Please comment if you're available and interested with working with a ghost maid. We'll delete posts once found. I didn't censor anything, but I think I don't have any incriminating words. Lol, hopefully the bots ignore me. And then she goes, she's trying to be a, she's trying to be a mint, a little ghost there. Good luck, Angel. Can't wait to see you shake your ectoplasms. Maria, free for Maria, it's happening. Hope you find a perfect person. And of course, uh, showing the modelers out there. This has a double effect. And the same way I mentioned with Amit. Mint is big. Mint is big enough where she gets a lot of, of views from anything she posts. Anyone who posts their stuff on here trying to get the commission will at the very least be showing their stuff and at the very least be um, able to showcase the things that they do which will get them the benefit of being in a place that, A, if they're not chosen by Mint, who knows? Someone out there who is uh, Mint adjacent or is just looking at Mint stuff will be able to be like, hey, this is someone that I might want to see. This is someone that I might want to do. Like, for example, it's Lunar Veggie doing a very good job over here as well. Rain Het 
doing an amazing job as well. Everybody here is a really good 3D monitor, way better than I could ever be, even if I tried my hardest. So here, like everyone is showing off their stuff. And like I said, at the very least, if they show off their stuff, uh, they can get just even drive by people. Uh, I know maybe it's not the best term, but drive by viewers, drive by watchers of what's going on here can take a look and be like, oh, especially other VTubers, because Mint is followed by a lot of VTubers. You can take a look and be like, oh, this is interesting. Yes, unfortunately, unfortunately, you're going to have a lot of bots, unfortunately. But among those, you can weed them out and figure out based on who, you know, if you can find out past people who have commissioned them, you can find out if they're good, doing a good job. But this is a good way to bring people in here taking a look at all these 3d monitors and that is one of the side effects the positive side effects of like when ama did it one of the positive side effects of when this is being done it is it is great to see i'm glad to see that i'm glad to see all these people you don't if you don't shoot your shot and you don't try then you're automatically gonna fail if you try you never know you could be chosen by them or by other people and that's, you know, that's what I like about this. That's what I like about these things. And of course, I'm bookmarking it to take a look at every single modeler that is popping up there. As I mentioned yesterday, there was a collab that um, Aqua did for her goodbye. Basically, she had collab, I'm pretty sure, with a lot of people that she wanted to collab with in Valorant. Uh, some people, Shion, got a chance to finally collab with her before she left. Um, and others in Niji Sanji says, basically, the people on the Hololive team are Lapis Darkness, Nakiri Ayame, Minato Aqua, Shion, Robokosan, uh, Nirisanji team, Debi Deberu, uh, Ushimi Ichigo, Makai no Rirumu, uh, Shishido Akari, Yuhi Riri, Vispo was Asumi Sena, Yano Kuromu, Kuromu, uh, Kaga Sumire, Saz Kaga Nazuna, Hanabusa Lisa. All of them at around 2015 GST, Tim Hololive vs. Nirisanji, Ascent 13 vs. 4, uh, Hololive vs. Nirisanji, 2nd Heaven 13-7. And um, at around 2130 JST, Hololive vs. Team Vispo, Lotus 1318, Sunset 13-8, 13-8, 13-8. For the match, it'll be free talk. So they're having a lot of a lot of fun times. And just giving you guys a bit of a look at what's going on here. Just doing her regular stuff as she would do. You know, running Team Hololive vs. Vispo, Team Hololive vs. others. <laughs> having them chat with each other. <laughs> Magical girl stuff. So yeah, having fun. They're having a lot of fun. I'm very happy that they were able to have a lot of fun. Uh, she was able to do this uh, before she left, which is hard to organize so soon. But I'm glad that she was able to get a lot of people there, get the collab maybe that she had wanted for a long time and be able to talk to friends as well. Pretty close to graduating, but she will still live on side by side with Kirito as a playable party member in SAO Last Recollection. She will live alongside Yuki in virtual environment. Very nice. It says here, Sword Art Online Last Recollection, announcement regarding the free update to, for the visitor Minato Aqua. And here's what they say. And of course, I'm going to have to expand it. Thank you for always playing Sword Art Online Last Recollection. As announced by Cover Corporation, Minato Aqua, who served as cheer captain for Sword Art Online Last Recollection, will be graduating from Hololive Productions on August 28th. Regarding the free update visitor, Minato Aqua, within Sword Art Online Last Recollection, it will continue to be distributed even after Minato Aqua's graduation. So it is getting benefits from this. We hope you continue to support Sword Art Online Last Recollection um, project team. Uh, the additional playable character will be available to continue adventuring with you and also be available to continue playing additional side quests, The Visitor. So they got permission from Hololive to do this. And I love that Hololive gave them the permission to do this because this is, it is it, it shows very good um, will from Hololive and it will bring good will from people who follow Hololive. So this is a good step in my opinion. Welcome back everybody to the VTuber Showcase, the place where I try to give back to the VTuber community that has given so much to me. And boy, has it given a bunch of love, so I want to give some of it back. This is Aka, a virtual Oyaji club, like old man club, I guess, in this case. You're soot sprite, shapeshifter, VTuber, something or other. And um, Oyaji instead of Ouija, Oyaji. I almost forgot my schedule. They did the schedule for the week. Always looking so amazing that the art that people are doing for them. Let's take a look at their about section in Twitch. It usually gives you a good idea of what's going on. It says, hello, my name is Aka, Aka, right there. 
your Soot Sprite Shapeshifter VTuber or something or other. Remember the OIG Club Generation 1. I've come all the way from Shapeless Realm between the worlds to see all the amazing things the world has to offer. They, um, of course, are taking a look at the commands uh, and all the other rules that they have as many, many VTubers like myself. No political things. I do do new stuff, but, you know, I understand a lot of people don't like doing anything political and I respect that, as should you. And also, uh, let's take a look at their uh, YouTube here with their channel trailer. Take a look a little bit at their channel trailer. Let's see how it goes. See. The finger, the finger peak. <laughs> have some fart. Was that in response to the fart sound? Milking a giraffe. Although, wait, wait, I guess you could, I guess you could turn off. So yeah, a lot of fun things, a lot of fun things about them. And of course, this is why I want to do these things because there are so many diamonds out there. So many wonderful gems of VTubers that are out there creating content for everyone around them and creating content so that everyone can enjoy it. And Akka is one of them. Thank you so much for being a part of this VTuber showcase. I do hope that this helps you in your future endeavors and it helps you in your growth. Thank you so much for watching. That is all the news that we have for today. Please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here, which I will try my best to respond to. I love seeing your comments down below. Of course, as well, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that will give you more information every single day. I do two videos a day, so hopefully you enjoy.